Hello everyone, coming up we take you to the bright lights of the winner's circle. We also meet a local coach who's taking charge of a legendary sports program. Plus we visit the new Choose Health LA restaurant with a spicy taste. Then there's a big question, who's Frank? To find out who he is, you have to stick around. These stories and more are coming up as Londa Living begins right now. Welcome to Londell Living, the show that features everything Londell. I'm your host, Anita Kellett Barry. Even though the holidays have faded in the rearview mirror, there's still one gift that hasn't been opened. It's time to unwrap the city's annual beautification committee 2015 Holiday Home Decorating Contest Award winners. Our city TV camera crew attended the award luncheon and is ready to introduce you to the winners behind these beautiful and bright masterpieces. <laughs> Just before the Christmas, we went around and looked at the various decorated homes in Lawndale and picked out homes for the various awards and everything. It's amazing the effort that's put out by the residents of Lawndale and our, our city is certainly uh, well lit during that season. And today we're here to honor the people who won those awards. We have certificates and plaques uh, for the winners and uh, so we get to give those out and everybody gets to see who, who did what and everything. It's, it's lots of fun. Pius and Martha have been joined by their grandson, so we've got a new face up here. Whoa, this is awesome. This, this rocks, this is chilling. I'm pretty proud that I can place this well with the little knowledge that I have of this art. Oh, it's excellent. You know, it all goes back to the traditions of the city and the families. We've got a lot of people that joined up for that and just decorated the city across the board. So it's nice to sit down and recognize them. And that's why we're here. Oh, it makes me feel good. The first time I get this award, a uh, little bit of surprise, but I did fix up pretty nice. A lot of these families have stories that go behind their decorations and it's a wonderful thing. I love it. The City of Lawndale would like to thank all the residents who participated in last year's Holiday Home Decorating Contest. If you have any questions or if you'd like to sign up for the upcoming season's contest, call the Municipal Services Department at area code 310-973-3220 or visit the website to www.lawndalecity.org. Now, all sports fans just love the game itself, whether it is played on a community level, high school level, or professional level. And we know that the head coach is the driving force behind any team. Our City TV camera crew had the chance to catch up with Losinger High School's new varsity basketball head coach. Everyone, I'd like to introduce you to Arturo Jones. Real Arturo Jones. The real Arturo Jones grew up in Compton, California. Uh, went to schools in, in Compton all of my life. Uh, graduated with a AA degree. Uh, graduated with a BA degree. Uh, graduated with a, a master's in special education. Uh, parents, I'm, I'm of mixed uh, parents. My mother is Mexican and my father is African American. Uh, both educators and I. Uh, grow up to be an educator myself. I have my own family at this point. I have two boys and, and a wife. Just the love of the game. Uh, I've always played basketball. I started coaching with Reggie Morris 04-05. Uh, so I coached with him for two years. And uh, Reggie, of course, was always around. Uh, he used to always be in my ear about, you know, come on, coach with me. So two years with Reggie Morris Sr. And, and Reggie Morris Jr. pulled me away from his dad. And that's when I came over here to losing here and coached with uh, Reggie Morris Jr. But Reggie is an X and O guy. He's real disciplined as far as fundamentals and, and like I said, X and o, X's and O's and running plays. I'm more of an emotional, 
emotional guy that's really intense and into the game and really just worried about how hard you play and if you give an effort. So in that aspect, we both learn from each other. Not too many people know that um, I played under his dad uh, and I coached with his dad. So, and a, a lot of everything that I know as a player and coaching wise comes from his dad. It's his, foundation, his dad's foundation of, of basketball. I learned the X and the X's and O's and how how it's important to, to detail uh, every little thing as far as angles and whatnot. I picked up a, a, a lot of that with Reggie and applied it to my coaching, and it, and it's and it's vice versa. He he uh, applied a lot of my emotion and, and how hard you play uh, into his and to his style of coaching. So in an aspect, we learned a lot from uh, from each other over the past years, uh, but definitely learned a lot from him. And like I said, he was experienced and he started the high school game before me, and I just came in and just stepped up and, and learned, and and just. We just started, eventually started co-coaching. We really were, were a good team together all those years. Basketball, I play with a, with a, a chip or a, a certain passion or intensity. I go all and play hard. And that's the same way I coach. Uh, if you see me coach, I get a little uh, emotional and uh, animated, I guess you can say. I believe I'm doing pretty well. Uh, you know, it's, it's my first year. I have high standards as always. I want to win. I want to win right away. Uh, people tell me, uh, I've talked to a lot of coaches, uh, say it should, your first year is never going to, never should be easy. Uh, and it hasn't, it hasn't been easy at all. It hasn't, uh, a lot of things to deal with. Coach, head coaching uh, is, is, not, is not easy at all. Uh, but like I said, I have high standards and I'm still trying to, to get to that point where I can win right now. Uh, and at the same time, it's, it's, it's not the most important thing, but definitely a learning experience. Uh, but at the same time, here back at Losinger, and I want to uh, continue with the tradition that we, we started uh, here, definitely. The teaching Arturo Jones, uh, very, very, uh, hmm, very quiet, very uh, cool, I guess you can say. Uh, like it real easy, don't like any problems. Uh, I give you respect as far as a student. Uh, all I ask is you give me respect. I hope they walk away. Uh, Knowing that I, I, I gave them my all and that I really was trying to teach not only the game of basketball, but they can actually take it uh, in life as they get older. It's a big job, but we look forward to watching our losing your Olympians as they build upon the foundation that Coach Jones is laying. What happens when you take a local restaurant and give its menu a healthy makeover? You get a new Choose Health LA restaurant. Londa Living's Julian Reyes shows us what it takes to create happy, healthy food. I'm here at Cosmic Fist Restaurant in Lawndale where healthy cooking is the theme. The Lawndale Elementary School District's Choose Health LA restaurant program has partnered up with Cosmic Fist for a healthy menu makeover for the community. The county is working with the restaurant now to make sure that they're providing healthy options for consumers. It means that kids growing up will be able to eat healthier and that build lifelong habits so that they can make these choices for themselves when they grow older as well. Today's event is all about promoting health, teaching health with a sprinkle of fun. We have various vendors here today that are going to offer lessons. We're going to give cooking demonstrations, give them healthy cookbooks, a lot of resources for them. The push for healthy events such as this stems from portion size increases among Americans throughout the years. It's been a really big concern, especially with the high rates of obesity. So we want to make sure that we're bringing healthier options in um, and that those individuals and families that are eating out more often have healthy options too. As for Cosmic Fist, the restaurant, the owner, Alfredo Estevas, says his decision for his menu makeover is all for the health of his son. Cuenta de que de que existimos aquí y de que no somos un restaurante como los demás restaurantes, porque nos estamos enfocando un poco más en nuestra salud. Porque yo tuve una experiencia con mi hijo y y eso me está ayudando. A, Como, yo como chef y como dueño a tratar de ayudar a otra gente. For a list of Choose LA restaurants in your neighborhood, just go to their website at choosehealthla.com. I'm Julian Reyes reporting for Lawndale Living. Back to you. 
To find out what other healthy items they have on their menu, head over to their Facebook page at Cosmic Fist Restaurant. Or for hours of operation, contact the restaurant at 310-920-0356. And now let's take a look at some of the great events and programs that are coming your way. Here's Londo Living's Daniel Lindley with the complete list. Thanks, Anita. Now let's get into what the city has planned for the month of February 2016. It's time to get involved. Be part of the future park development in Lawndale. Taking part includes being part of the decision-making process when it comes to the future park renovation and development. All you have to do is attend the Los Angeles County Park Needs Assessment Workshop here in the city of Lawndale, located inside the Harold E. Hoffman Community Center on Thursday, February 11th, 2016 at 6 p.m. Wanted as soon as possible. Youth soccer coaches, if interested, call 310-973-3277 for more information. And speaking of youth soccer, the spring youth team signups are well on its way. To register, you can either walk in or go online. Registration is open now and closes on March 3, 2016. All players' requests for the same team as another player must be written on the registration form for both players at the time of registration. Requests are not guaranteed. Did you know the City of Lawndale offers free bulky pickup? It's free! Single-family residents of multi-family properties in Lawndale are eligible for four bulky item pickups per year, with a maximum of four items per pickup. Before you set your items at the curb, please call Republic Services at 1-800-299-4898 to schedule an appointment. Attention seniors, are you looking for programs and activities you can take part in? Visit the Senior Services webpage at Department Community Services or access the Senior Post. Hard copies of the Senior Post can also be picked up at the Harold E. Hoffman Community Center, second floor reception office. However, availability is limited. Ahoy matey, the tradition is back. Get ready for the 2016 Lawndale Pirate Days Youth Day Parade. The city is searching for enthusiastic groups interested in participating in this fun annual event, celebrating the youth of Lawndale and surrounding communities. If interested, contact the Lawndale Community Services Department at 310-973-3270 or email Mike Estes at mestes at lawndalecity.org. And mark your calendars and get your bicycle tuned up, oil the chain, and plan to join the city on Saturday, April 23, 2016 at 8 a.m. for the Lawndale Community Bike Ride and Open Street event presented by Metro. For more information on the type of bike qualifications and the route of the bike ride, contact Community Services Department at 310-973-3270 or head to the city's website at www.lawndalecity.org. Lastly, the City of Lawndale staff are in need of poll workers for the upcoming 2016 elections. The city is seeking volunteers to work the polls on Election Day, April 12, 2016, you must attend a training class and work at the polls from 6.30 a.m. to 9 p.m. During that time, you'll set up the polling place, assist voters, close the polling place, and count ballots. To become a volunteer or find out if you're eligible to vote, contact the City Clerk's Department at 310-973-3211. Well, that's your community calendar. I'm Daniel Lindley. Back to you, Anita. Thanks, Daniel. Now here's some important news briefs that you need to know in 90 seconds. Update signs and vehicles ordinance. As of November 5, 2015, the city has adopted new regulations regarding signs on vehicles. According to the new ordinance, it is generally prohibited to park a vehicle on a commercial street with a removable sign on it unless the vehicle is parked within 500 feet of the residence of the vehicle's owner. For a full list of examples, you can visit our website at www.londoncity.org. All us pet owners need not forget that pet ownership is a responsibility. Here are a few reminders about being a responsible pet owner so your neighbors can enjoy living next to your dog. All dogs are required to be licensed with the city annually. All dogs should be current on their vaccinations. Dogs cannot be transported in an open truck bed without the proper cross-tether security system as required by state law. And when you're off property with your dog, you must have the proper supplies to dispose 
dispose of animal waste. For a complete list of pet owner responsibilities, contact the Municipal Services Department at area code 310-973-3220 or stop by at 14616 Gravilla Avenue. Well, that about wraps it up for this edition of Londell Living. If you'd like to find out more about any of the programs you've seen on the show today, give us a call at area code 310-973-3200 or go to the city's website at www.londellcity.org. And if you have an idea for an upcoming episode of Londell Living or if you have any questions, you can give Londell City TV a call at area code 310-973-3259 or by emailing us at citytv at LondellCity.org. Remember, you can always find out when a show will be on by going to the City TV program guide at www.LondellCity.org slash TV guide. This will give you a complete listing of all the great shows on Londell City TV. And now you can watch us on YouTube. Just go to YouTube and search for Londell City TV. For all those here at Londell City TV and City Hall, I'm your host, Anita Kellett Barry. From our City TV family to yours, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.